Due to the much anticipated Mayweather Pacquiao fight, I'm going to teach you this card game. So let's get ready to rumble! Welcome to Board Games. My name is Alberto. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to jab or uppercut, but I'll teach you some boxing. The card game. It doesn't require much skill, but it is fun. Anyway, here are the supplies. One deck of 52 playing cards. A piece of paper to keep score. A writing utensil. Your opponent. And you! You have all your supplies? Great, let's set it up. Step one. You and your opponent should sit across each other. Step two. Take the cards and remove all of the queens, jacks, kings, and if you have jokers, remove them too. We're not going to use them in this game. Step 3. Make two piles by separating the cards by color. Step 4. Place either one pile of cards in front of your opponent and the other pile in front of you. Make sure they're facing with their backs up. Step 5. At this time, you and your opponent should shuffle your own respective decks. Step 6. Then you and your opponent will trade decks. This will ensure that there is no cheating involved. Step 7. Using your own respective decks that now that you guys have, you and your opponent will each lay 12 cards in front of yourselves. Like this. So the tableau should have 24 cards in total. Step 8. Place the remaining cards off to the side for they will not be used in this match. Step 9. Next, grab your piece of paper and fold it in half. Hot dog style is recommended. Step 10. Using the writing utensil, write numbers 1 through 12 on the margins, like so. Step 11. On the top of the left side of the paper, write player 1's name, and on the right side of the paper, write player 2's name. Step 12. From player 1's point of view of the cards, going left to right will determine the number of rounds of this match based off of each set. To further clarify, if, for example, I am player 1, these set of cards will be 1, then 2, then 3, 4, up to 12. As previously stated, these will determine each round of the fight. Setting up may seem tedious, but it's pretty easy. Anyway, let's carry on. It's time to teach you how to play the game. The premise of the game is to have most points at the end of the game. Per round, both players will flip their respective card. The player who has the highest value card will win that round. The player who wins the round will take the difference of their card and the card of their opponent and that will be their score. He or she will use that number on their side of the paper. For example, if the higher card is a 7 and the lower card is a 2, then the difference will be 5. Thus, the winner should write 5 on their side of the piece of paper. If both players have the same value card, it is considered a draw, and depending if it is an ace or not, both players will move to the next round. The ace does not count as 1, but 11, and is considered a knockout card. If a player has an ace and the other player has another value that is lower than a value 5 card, then the other player is considered knocked out and has won the match. If the other player that has a value 5 or higher card will still lose the round, but they will not lose the match. If both players have an ace in the same round, they are both knocked out and it is considered a draw. The game can end in either a draw or a win or loss. The player with the highest score after all rounds wins, unless there is a knockout that ends the match beforehand. Perhaps the information seems confusing to some of you, so I will play the game to provide some clarity.
As always, I hope the example was easy to emulate and the instructions are easy to follow. In the comment section below, acknowledge a game that you would like to learn. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. My name is Alberto and this is Board Games.